Isaiah, congratulations. Uh, two big touchdown passes. Uh, why don't you take us through the two plays, the first, the 53-yarder, and the second, the 70-yarder? Um, the corners just showed that they were biting on the outs, and uh, we just caught that play. Um, the offensive line blocked it well. Bryson Daly stepped back and made a great throw, and uh, I just had to do the rest from there. I caught the ball, and there was nobody else in front of me, so just scored a little touchdown. When you got the ball back uh, 16 seconds, uh, is that just Coach Thatcher saying, first play after a turnover, go for a long pass? Uh, not necessarily, no. It's just something he's seen um, up in the box. And um, that was just one of the plays that he wanted to call for that situation. Um, yeah, I mean, we just get the, we get the call and we just execute whatever play he calls. So. Isaiah, how much were, last week you guys didn't really throw downfield much at all. Um, how much were you kind of itching to get a, get that going in this game? Um, I mean, I didn't really think of it too much. I mean, yes, I've always like sometimes you're in the moment and you're like, all right, this guy, I think I, I can I can run this play against this person or something like that. Um, but for the most part, I'm just looking to do my job and whatever the coach calls is what we have to do. So just trying to execute that to the best of my ability for the offense. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Isaiah, what do you like about playing with Bryson Daly? Um, his passion for the game of football, like he, he brings it every day, and um, he just keeps the guys around him up, and I really love that about him. How about his skill set? You played with a lot of different quarterbacks here during your time. Very tough Tell me about, quarterback. You know Bryson and what he brings to you receivers. Very tough quarterback. Um, he just keeps he keeps coming play after play. Even if he makes a mistake, he flushes it and he moves to the next play. Um, Accuracy's there, um, and he just the ability to make plays and, and, and read the defense. He's really locked into the details of what the coaches are telling him. And he just goes out and executes that. Last week, six points on specialty. This week, a lot of offense, you know, from you guys. How does that feel to kind of bust out? And... It, it gives us confidence rolling into the next week. Um, last week, I feel like uh, we shot ourselves in the foot early, and that just kind of killed the momentum of the offense. And uh, a lot of people started hesitating. But now that we've got to really put together what we've uh, been practicing, put 57 points on the board, like it gives the, the offense some some confidence that what the coaches are calling actually works. So. Last thing, you guys play Friday night at on ESPN. What's it like playing in a spotlight game? And tell me about facing UTSA, a team that kind of stole, stole one from you guys last year. Um, I don't really think of that much. Um, we roll out, we roll out wherever we, uh, uh, whoever we play, doesn't really matter to me. Uh, time, place, doesn't really matter. It's still a football game at the end of the day. Uh, I just love doing what I do, so that's what we're gonna do. And um, Army doesn't flinch, so it doesn't matter where we play. It could be Tuesday night, honestly. Um, doesn't really make a difference for us. So Leo mentioned that, that the, uh, this game was like a stepping stone um, after last week and now this week. Talk about that. What do you think about that? Um, personally, for us, I think uh, for the offense, it just showed confidence in that we can really do what, what the coaches are harping on. Because um, last week, it kind of demoralized the, the offense's confidence and uh, put into 57 points on the board today. It was really, really a step in the right direction. So we just have to keep that momentum going into next week and uh, just keep practicing hard, following the fundamentals, executing our plays, and, and just keep it going. You see Bryson had a lot more confidence as the game went on. Um, obviously, hope that continues. Um, did you notice that on the field with him? Of course, I always do. Um, you can, I can tell personally when uh, Bryson's at his highs and when he's at his lows, and uh, and when he's just filling it out. So um, it's just something I've seen from from being with him all spring, all honestly for the last like three years. So mm -hmm. it's just something that you can you can see in him. And today he was really he was just on one today. So coach said last week about the you guys fumbled and five turnovers. Um, during practice this week, uh, is, is that something you guys worked on a lot? I yes. assume so. A, a lot. Ball security was uh, very hard on this week. And uh, I mean, yeah, that's something we had to improve on. So I think we've done a, a better job securing the ball. Um, we still came out short one turnover, but it's the game of football. Sometimes it happens. You can be doing fundamentally perfect. Sometimes the defense makes a play. So um, you just got to move on from that and, and clean things up. And I think. Going into next week, we'll just keep holding the ball and do what we do. When was the last time someone had as many yards as you did? <laughs> Honestly, I didn't. I didn't know that until you just said something. Uh, doesn't really make a difference. I, I'm more happy about the win. Um, that was just my contribution to the win today. So, um, whatever I can do to help the offense 
keep going and whatever I can do to help the team win, that's what I'm going to be working on. Uh, but maybe I'll think about that later. I don't know.